Hi, I'm Kyle Seacrest with Rapid View. And I'm Richie Knotts. In today's video, we're going to focus on the most popular asked questions we hear while we're out in the field demonstrating Ebox Micro Gator Cutter. First, I'd like to start out with I'm noticing we don't have a big air compressor unit back here behind this truck. So, how exactly are we running this cutter motor? Right, the Ibach Micro Gator is an all electric cutter. We're actually running right now, um, the cutter's on, but there is no air compressor. This is not a pneumatic cutter. Um, okay. All electric, very quiet. I gotcha. If it's not running off of air, then um, talk, tell me a little bit about that motor. How are we, how are we running that motor? Yeah, so it's an all-electric motor. It's a 4.7 horsepower. Um, it is water-cooled, so we are running water to this motor. Uh, we're also running water to this camera back here, but it's a water-cooled, 4.7 horsepower. It runs at 10,000 RPM. Um, you're not going to see this motor bogged down like a lot of pneumatic motors. The all-electric motor has a lot of torque. As far as the camera back here that you just mentioned, so this camera back here is this to help view our bit up front then during the cutting process, not so much for you know viewing forwards as if we're just driving down the pipe? It is, right. So this camera is for your cutting view. You can, you can view the bit there. A um, couple special things about this camera. You have the ability to, to rotate it backwards and clean that lens with water and a wiper. Uh, we also have an air curtain on this camera. So, so you, you, got, you know when you're cutting, you get a lot of debris and a lot of obstruction flying around in the pipe. And a lot of times that debris lands on your camera lens and then you know it obstructs Ultimately, your view. Ultimately, I'd have to bring my cutter back out of the line and clean it. So basically, right. the air curtain and the water are basically going to work together then to keep my camera clean then. Exactly. And so that's the one camera view. The other camera view you have is we do have a front camera on the micro gator. So this allows the operator to see forwards in the pipe. Um, one really neat thing about that though is you can remove this front camera and attach a pan and tilt camera. And you may ask, why is that important? Well, now you can do your pre-inspection and post-inspection all with one unit. As far as the operations go then up in the front office for the operator, one controller is still able to work that front pan and tilt and zoom camera head then for pre and post inspections. There's no extra cable required or no extra controller required to do that? Correct, yeah, it's just one cutter. You add that camera head on, you're still going to utilize your same controller. All right, earlier we spoke a little bit about pre and post inspections. You said that you had an option where we could attach an existing iBlock camera head to the front of this thing. Right. Um, do you, can we see that attachment? Can you explain a little bit on how we're going to utilize it? And do we still have the cutter bit on while we have this attachment on? Or do we have to take that cutting motor off in order to, to utilize this attachment? Right. So. The camera adapter actually just goes right onto the front. We're going to remove the front facing camera and the four screws there. We'll pop that off and then we'll attach the pan and tilt adapter. Okay, it'll go right on the front. You'll still have your cutting motor on there, but for safety reasons, we're actually going to shut off the ability to power that cutter bit for the time being while you're doing your pre and your post. As far as the camera goes, is that just uh, an is that just one of your e-box standardized pan and tilt cameras in or is it a special specific cutter camera or let's say I already have one of the e-box systems and I got an Orion camera can I just throw that same camera then out on the front of this thing? You can yeah if you own an e-box uh, CCTV inspection system let's say you have the Orion zoom you would just plug that camera head on to the front. Nice so we also then have the ability the Orion camera head, does that come with like a locating mechanism then, like a transmitter or a sawn so I can pick it up above ground? It does. That camera head's going to have a 33 kilohertz sawn in it. Okay, I like it. As far as keeping this cutter pressurized, I know a lot of people out there use nitrogen, a lot of people use CO2 cartridges. How exactly do we help keep moisture out of this system? How do you guys pressurize this tractor? Right, we get that question all the time. So Ibach pressurizes all their units with just regular air. It just looks like a bit regular bicycle style pump. It's got a dry air filter on it. We're taking air out of the atmosphere, drawing any moisture out of that air, and then we're gonna add one bar of pressure to the internal body of this system. That way there's a positive pressure on the inside and water's not gonna get in and damage our investment. Okay, great. And if anybody would like to see a little bit more detail on the way we pressurize our tractors, we do have a spotlight video that focuses on how we do pressurize all of our systems. And I'm noticing on the back of this cutter, we only have one cable connected to the back of this cutter. So there's no strain relief, there's no more extra cables in during the 
cutting process that we have to connect for lowering this thing down into the pipe? So as far as operating this unit, one thing that sets us apart is it is one cable. Wow. Everything that we need, so air, water, power, it's all in this one cable housing. Now remember, I said that there's air in there. That's just for that air curtain on this camera that's viewing your cutter bit. This is not a pneumatic cutter, so it's a very small amount of air that we have to provide. I like it. As far as I'm noticing this, it does look extra stout. I mean, how much exactly does this weigh as it sits? I know weight equals traction, so it being heavy is going to be a bonus and help us get out those long distances, but what does this cutter weigh as it sits right now? Yeah, so right now, uh, you're sitting at an 8-inch setup, and that's roughly about 130 pounds. Okay, as far as the 8-inch setup goes, oftentimes we'll get jobs that require us to cut in 24-inch lines, 30-inch lines. Like, how high can we beef up this one tractor, or do we have to buy another tractor or possibly another tractor to be able to get into those bigger diameters? Yeah, so the micro gator can operate for 8-inch pipe up to 32-inch, but the nice thing about it is it's just one cutter. You don't have to buy a separate cutter for that large diameter pipe. Uh, we actually utilize a, a height attachment carriage where you drop the body of this cutter into that carriage and then instantly you're ready to go for that 32 inch pipe. Uh, we have extensions for the cutter bits to get you up, you wow. know, okay. to be able to reach in those larger diameters. But uh, no, eight inch to 32. So one tractor. One tractor. As far as I guess we kind of hit on weight already, but do you have any thing to help us get this cutter in and out of the pipe? Are we using lowering poles like a lot of people would use or do you got any kind of cheat codes to help us get this thing that weighs 130 pounds down into the actual structure? Yeah so the Eibach uh, cutter builds that we do we put in a, a built-in lowering winch and you'll see that this thing is very robust. It'll actually lift 1100 pounds. Wow. Um, weight's important for traction but we try to make it easy on the operator to actually manipulate that crawler and get it down into the hole. Okay, I'm noticing too on the front of this exactly how many access points do we actually have? I'm seeing it looks like a third and even a fourth. Um, how exactly does having that fourth axis help the operator while he's trying to cut in the pipe? Yeah, so this is one of my another one of my favorite features of the micro gator. That fourth axis allows us to rotate that cutting head forward, and that gives the operator the ability to cut forward. Uh, you know, but ultimately it just gives them more. Uh, degrees of freedom or range of motion. All right, Kyle, let's say I just put in a liner and I got to cut it out because we have some bad sections. How exactly are you going to go about doing that with this cutter head? Right, and that's something that people see in the, in the field all the time. This is one thing that we actually like to demonstrate with the micro gator. So the micro gator, you can actually cut three quarters around the pipe either direction. So you would be able to cut that section out. All right, Kyle, every now and then we do point repairs as well as you know, pull packers in for our top hat situations as well. So is there any kind of attachment or any kind of way I can pull in our packer with this cutter? Yeah, so that's, that's very common. And actually we've got a packer adapter piece. So what you would do is you just remove the front motor on this cutter. Do we lose our front camera then when we're doing that? Or? So you'll still have two cameras. There's a, there's a camera on the front of the packer adapter. Nice. And then you also have your camera that was your, your cutting view earlier. So this will give the operator the ability to move those packers uh, within the pipe and then also be able to see. All right, thanks a lot for tuning in today on our focus on the Ebox Micro Gator Cutter. If you guys would like to see some further videos as far as a live setting with us cutting out, intruding taps, or reinstating laterals, go ahead and check out our website for those videos. Feel free to contact us if you'd like to see an in-pipe demo of the iBock Microgator.